Hey guys, gonna be showing off the minigun. As you can see, it's uh, fairly large and uh, ooh, a lot of barrels. And uh, even on the handle, it says G L H F. Good luck, have fun. I I assume that's what it is. <laughs> anyway, let's take a quick look at the. Actually, let's take a look at the stats first. So this is the Vulcan minigun. It's got 750 rounds, 3,000 rate of fire, 40 damage, 10 accuracy. Uh, I have a mod on it right now that increases its accuracy a little bit and decreases stability and concealment. So let's take a look at it. The available mods, Aerial Assault Barrel, the Stump Barrel, I'll take half that kit, and you can have one of the gadgets. So uh, right now I have the Aerial Assault, that's what it looks like. If you put on the Stumpy Barrel and the I'll take half that kit, it'll look like this. Little adorable little minigun. It has a grip on it. And uh yeah, it's surprisingly it can be a little bit concealed if you take a look at this. Right now it has eleven concealment, which for all intents and purposes is terrible, but I mean if you equip this with like a thirty two concealment secondary or not thirty two, thirty concealment secondary, and you have hidden blade for a thirty two concealment melee, uh, you can get to twenty six detection, so I mean Make of that what you will. But, uh, yeah, here's the stats. Less accuracy, but more stability and concealment. Oh, and uh, when you have the I'll take half that, you also get less ammo. Alright, now you've seen the stats. Let's see it in action. We need to clear the joint out. Engines running. I'm waiting for you. Don't stick around too long. Okay, time for a smash and grab. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Down on the ground. All right, so the minigun. The minigun, unlike the RPG, uh, it's also a utility weapon, but I don't think it's nearly as good. And uh, well, that's not even to say before. Like before, when I first tried out these weapons, I thought the minigun was crap. <laughs> Let's be honest. I think a lot of people think it's crap, but I think a lot of people also go about it the wrong way. You know. Uh, most of us assume that it's a minigun, so we should use it like an LMG. Kill a lot of guards with- not guards, kill a lot of cops with it. It's our main go-to killing weapon. But it's actually not like that. It's- it's just like the other guns, uh, the other utility weapons. Where you're not really gonna be using it that much to kill a lot of guys. You're mostly using it when, you know, for a few specific situations. Like, there's a lot of people around you need some crowd control done, or you see a bulldozer you need it taken care of, that's really... that's really what it comes down to. That's six bags? Alright, let's uh, let's go loud now. Oh, can't even go loud that way. Perfect! Somebody called. Alrighty, I just wanted to get those uh, six or seven-ish bags done now because uh, moving them later is a bit of a hassle, but moving just two bags is not too bad. So yeah, uh, most people go about using the minigun the wrong way and they try to use it as their primary mode of killing things, which is definitely how it's not meant to be used. It's It carries the same thing as the RPG, the same... Uh, well, blah, 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 blah. I, I can't think of the word right now, but it has the same feature where you can't pick up ammo from ammo off the ground. You have to solely rely on ammo bags. And because of that, well, you shouldn't be using it willy-nilly, you know. Use it for a few specific situations. On your face! Now! On your face! And uh, I've been pretty much going about it the wrong way, you know. I've been using it like an LMG. I've been trying to kill a lot of people with it, and uh, been sorely disappointed how fast the ammo goes. It does it does the job pretty well, you know. It spits bullets out like crazy. It has a 3,000 rate of fire, and it still does good damage, you know, better than uh, most weapons. So it has some crazy damage output, but you are gonna run out incredibly fast. So I, I was going about it the wrong way, uh, so I've changed my setup, so I have a Judge, Secondary, and, um... Well, I'm gonna be relying heavily on the Judge to do most of the killing for me, but if I happen to see a lot of people, 
I will switch to the minigun, and it will be very handy to have. So, as a utility weapon, it's still pretty decent, but it's not... I would say it's not nearly as good as the other utility weapons. Uh, thinking of, you know, the new RPG, the Thanatos, Grenade Launcher. These utilities, uh, they're somewhat better because, well, with the RPG, although you don't have the ability to pick up ammo as well, it will outright kill everything. So four shots and four guarantees to destroy pretty much everything in your path, you know. Uh, with the Thanatos, it's laser accurate, and it's good range, so you have that, and it does a lot of damage, right? So those are the upsides of the Thanatos. The bad things about the Thanatos, though, is that it has low rate of fire, and you have a hard time dealing with a lot of enemies up close. But on the flip side, if you have the GL-40, the grenade launcher, you can deal with a lot of enemies up close, you can stun them even, and it stuns dozers and every unit except for the cloaker but it has also uh, it's not the best weapon for outright killing stuff I see a lot of stuff coming through yeah it's not the best weapon for outright killing stuff like the Thanatos you know it doesn't actually do enough damage on Deathwish to well kill all that many things that fast but here is also the flip side of this weapon, though. This is the one of the few utility weapons that's actually more handy, um, depending on your skill setup. If you run Swan Song, you can go for days shooting this thing, and it is much better than the grenade launcher or Thanatos in that respect, or the RPG too, because no other weapon can actually do that. So if you have Swan Song, you have Bullet Storm. This thing is a monster. But, you know, there are obviously pros and cons to it. And uh, right now, I brought the mini, the stubby minigun, which I think is adorable and it looks so cute. Look at it, it's so stubby. And then if you melee with it, oh wait, I don't have the melee, the gun butt melee. But if you gun butt melee, it just like, I don't know, it's, it's adorable. You just poke people. But there really is no reason to actually have it this way, like, putting these mods on it makes it somewhat concealed. But, I mean, it's a minigun. There's, there's not too many reasons to be doing that. Clover. Clover, go help him. Go help him. Go help your buddy killer. Okay, fine. I'll go help my buddy killer. You take aggro. But, yeah, there really is no reason to give up all that ammunition just to make this stubby. I do it just because it's fun. I mean, there are some other bonuses too, like uh, there's less of a movement penalty, but it's pretty negligible at the end of the day. And I'm also out of ammo, so I'm going to go ahead and hit up an ammo bag. And the reloads for this are also very painful. Ugh. Yeah. So I, I would never recommend modding it this way. I mean, even if you want to run a pseudo-stealth build, there are much better weapons to do so with. I hear a dozer. I'm actually just standing in his face. Woo, boy. Oh, and I got tased. And I got tased. That means I get to live even longer. That dozer's getting a bit far away, though. I'm gonna go ahead and sit here now. So, yeah, it, like, it's one of the few utility weapons where it gets a big, huge benefit out of Swan Song. And Swan Song is a very, very popular skill these days just because of how powerful it is in Death Wish setups. So, uh, that's a big plus to it. So there are some pluses to it. I mean, there, there are still a lot of cons. I mean, the inability to pick up ammo is incredibly crucial, especially to a weapon such as this where the benefits aren't actually all that great, you know? It's not like the RPG where it will kill everything it touches, no. It, this, like, you have to be, you have to still treat it like an LMG. You have to be relatively spot on. Let's see, I can help you through here. You have to be relatively spot on and you have to spend a lot of time shooting at stuff. You know, with the rocket launcher, Thanatos, grenade launcher, these weapons, you can kind of just shoot it 
and then forget about it, you know? Shoot, like, say there's some stuff over in that room, I could just thunk, shoot it, and then just hide in the corner and reload, right? With this, no, you have to actually be actively shooting at them and exposing yourself, which is not always the best, best course of action. I'm kind of waiting for them to come through the door. I don't want to get tased. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, it just comparatively to the other utility weapons, it's not nearly as good. You know, Thanatos, it just does so much damage and the range it has, the accuracy. Uh, it's unparalleled. Same with the grenade launcher, the ability to stun. It, it makes it an unparalleled weapon. And uh, akin to that, with this weapon, it's in the primary slot. Whereas the RPG, it's secondary slot. So with the RPG, you can have a utility in your secondary and still have room in your primary for other weapons. You know, assault rifles, shotguns, a lot of powerful weapons at your disposal, including other utilities if, if you really wanted to use those. The minigun taking up the primary slot means it's uh you're losing out on some some good weapons. You know, you're limited to shotguns, pistols, and SMGs. SMG is relatively weak unless you have a a setup for it, you know, maybe a crit build or something along those lines. Shotguns, they're very good, but you do have to have a lot of shotgun skills. Whereas if you were just to use I'm actually gonna take some ammo. Whereas if you were just to actually, you know, use primaries, you don't need very many skills if you decide to go with an assault rifle. Ooh, and the reload. The reload is also terrible on this. And, uh, there's just a lot of things about this weapon that make it relatively weak in comparison to other ones. That's not saying that I dislike it, and that's not saying that it's also useless. It's still pretty useful if you treat it the right way. What's over around that corner, but I'm scared. Ooh! Shredded that shredded that cloaker. Good. I didn't give him the chance to cloaker me. So yeah, in a in a nutshell, it it's not the best utility weapon, but it's not bad either. There are better options. But uh Something to add to that, though, I will say that this is probably one of the most fun utility weapons. It is mad fun just to go crazy with this thing and just go into a room and just unload. Unload. Oh, oh I'm out of ammo. Ooh. And I didn't go swan song. I expected to go swan song right there. I kept on dodging. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I expected to die, did not die, was. Thoroughly impressed, I guess, I suppose. I don't have. Alright, I'm gonna go die in the back so the AI and killer can get me up without getting shot at. Oh, thank you very much, Clover. Alright, let's see. Where is that health pack? Uh, nowhere, actually. I think he used it. Go? Go time. I think it's go time. I think it's go time. There we go. We made it. Whew. So, while it may not be nearly as good as some of the other really powerful utility weapons, it's so much fun. And since it works in conjunction with Swan Song, uh, it can it can provide some interesting setups. I will give it that. Oh, we have to escape. God damn it. <laughs> well, here's here's another Oh, it's Cafe too. <laughs> Wonderful. But yeah, this this minigun, it gets a thumbs up by me. It's not it's not nearly as bad as I once thought it was. You know, the first time I played it, played with it, I thought it was I thought it was really bad. But the more I use it, the more I got in the Ryan mindset for it, it's not a bad weapon. 
It really isn't. It's just, uh, comparing it to existing weapons, it could have been better, but... Well, that's not really saying too much when we have incredibly powerful setups already, so... Yeah, it's good, it's good. <laughs>